Hi friends, Rich Rodriguez here. And today I'm going to share with you my CO2 reduction journey. I have another channel called My Aptera Journey. And there's likely going to be another channel focusing on renewable energy here in the northwest part of the United States. And you can see right behind me is the Bonneville Dam. It's generating clean, renewable energy every second. And it powers this beautiful 2017 Bolt EV. So let me tell you my story. My CO2 reduction path began in 2013. At the time, I heard that CO2 in the atmosphere had reached 400 parts per million. In a decade or so before, I heard that sometime in the distant future, we would reach 400 parts per million. But it happened. It happens, people. 400 parts per million. And I knew I had to do something. So what I did was purchase a new 2013 Chevrolet Volt. That was my first plug-in car. And what I learned was driving electrically was fabulous. You push the accelerator down and you accelerate it quietly. It was zero emissions. And what I learned by over 30,000 miles of driving in my 2013 Volt is that I averaged 120 miles per gallon, mostly around town. But I would take trips from time to time from Portland, Oregon to Seattle, Washington. That car met all my needs at the time. From 2013 to 2017, what changed? I took a new job in Salem, Oregon, about 50 miles south of Portland. And in 2017, Chevrolet introduced their Bolt EV, first fully electric, fully capable, long-range electric vehicle. So I took my lessons from my 2013 Volt, which is understanding how to plug in and how to drive electrically, how to be mindful of how I drove to maximize my range, to my 2017 Bolt TV. Now, why did I um, choose this car? Well, at the time, Tesla had the Model S, which was eighty to a hundred thousand dollars, something like that. And they were just introducing their Model Three. But again, that was seventy thousand dollars or something. The Bolt EV was an affordable $40,000. And that's why I got the Bolt EV. What about the performance that I've had with the Chevrolet Bolt EV, the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV? Well, I can tell you it's the most... The accelerator... You accelerate. Any other car I've had in the past, if I was merging on the freeway, I'd often have to drop back to merge. In this car, if you punch that accelerator, boom, you go. It is a joy to drive, an absolute joy. Quiet, powerful, and confident driving. I've also had zero problems with this car, absolutely zero problems. I have 103,000 miles on this car. I've had absolutely no problems. Windshield wipers, 
tires. And when I got to 100,000 miles, I put new shocks on because shocks wear out. You know, they're like shoes on our feet. They wear out. Absolutely no problems with this car. Now, yes, um, some people will talk about, oh, what happens if the battery wears out? What do you do? Well, at about 93,000 miles, I had lost maybe 8% of range. So a car that was rated at 238 miles of EPA range now was maybe 200. I'm just rounding. 200 miles of range after close to 100,000 miles. It met all of my needs with that battery degradation. In fact, I suspect that if I drove this vehicle on its original battery for 200,000 miles, I would be down to maybe 180 miles of range. 180 miles of range, people, meets all of my needs. And with the DC fast charging, you go to Seattle, you go to the far eastern part of Oregon, any place you want. In fact, uh, earlier this month, I was thinking about driving to Southern California, San Diego. You don't need a vehicle with three, four hundred miles of range. It's a lot of battery to carry around. It's very expensive. A vehicle with, say, 200 miles of range meets the vast majority of your needs. And I know it does mine. Now, people might also say, oh, this 2017 Bolt EV, didn't Chevrolet re recall the batteries? They did recall the batteries. There was a very, very few number of vehicles that would um, smoke and potentially catch on fire. And remember, people, fossil fuel vehicles catch on fire all the time. I can't tell you the number of times I've been on the freeway and seen a, a car fire. It happens. A very small, very small number of Chevrolet Bolt EVs uh, would catch on fire because of a defect in the battery. So what Chevrolet did is they stepped to, to the plate, and I want to congratulate and say thank you to CEO Mary Barra. They replaced every battery in impacted vehicles. So what does that mean to me, Rich Rodriguez? My 2017 Bolt EV has a brand new battery. And you know what? It has 10% more capacity than the original battery. It has 10% more range than the original battery. Why? GM used new and improved chemistry. So after roughly 100,000 miles, and it has 103,000 miles on it right now, I received free from GM a new battery that is probably going to last this vehicle at least till 300,000 miles and be a fabulous serviceable vehicle. So the, the GM Bolt recall, don't worry about it people. GM is replacing all those batteries and the impacted vehicles now have more range than when they were brand new. That is wonderful, and I want to thank GM for stepping up to the plate there. But here's the big deal. Here's why I got the Bolt EV after my 2013 Volt. Is the environmental impact. We're shooting this video today right behind, or right in front of the Bonneville Dam. It's producing renewable energy. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. No fossil fuel is propelling my vehicle. Here in the Northwest, we're blessed by an abundance of hydropower. There's dams all up and down the Columbia. There's dams in the Cascade Mountains. Um, there's an abundance of hydropower, and we're getting more and more solar power in the Northwest as well. So what does that mean? The average new car right now 
for 103,000 miles would emit a total of 93,101 pounds of CO2. 93,000 pounds of CO2. It is unfathomable. However you say that word. It's amazing. A, a standard light vehicle in America, over 100,000 miles, will blow into the atmosphere 93,000 pounds of CO2. Or about 46 tons. 46 tons. Now, the Bolt EV versus a standard vehicle, and I hope I got this right, I am displacing 74,000 pounds of CO2 by driving this car here in the Northwest with this abundant hydropower. I have avoided dumping into our beautiful atmosphere 74,000 pounds of CO2, 37 tons. I have two grandchildren in Seattle. It frightens me to think about their future. I'm going to do everything I can in a reasonable fashion to reduce my CO2 footprint. This vehicle has avoided 74,000 pounds of CO2 going into the atmosphere versus a standard electric car or standard fossil car. Am I happy with this car? You have no idea how happy I am with this car. No idea. This is the car and I'm 60 something. This is the car in my whole life that I in, have enjoyed driving the most, and mostly because of the acceleration. Shh, don't tell. It's fabulous. And of course, um, the operating um, savings to operate this car, it cost me about $5, people, $5 to charge this up at home for 200 miles of range. A fossil car might cost you right now $25 for, for 200 miles of range. That's a pretty substantial operating savings. So, um, the vehicle has been fabulous. I'm very happy with the car. But this is just one part of my life. I have more efficiency moves in the future. Number one, I'm converting my home from methane gas, people call it natural gas, to obscure what it is. It's methane gas, a highly potent greenhouse gas. I'm converting my home heater in my home to a heat pump. I am also converting the methane gas, people call it natural gas, to mask what it is, which is a powerful greenhouse pollutant. I'm also converting my home hot water heater to a heat pump. Fossil fuel is removed from my home. No more fossil fuel emissions. It's gone. And if you would like to help me, friends, I have a GoFundMe link down below where you can contribute to helping make my home fossil emissions free. But that's not all. My next car is an Aptera Roadster. The Chevrolet Bolt EV gets about three miles per kilowatt hour. 
The Aptera Roadster, due to its lightweight and highly, highly aerodynamic design, it's about 10 miles per kilowatt hour. Three times more efficient, over three times more efficient. So I'm making changes in my life by first going to the 2013 Volt, where I got about 120 miles per gallon average, to the 2017 Volt EV, where I have saved 74,000 pounds of CO2 from being emitted into the sky. I have eliminated CO2 emissions from my home with a home heat pump heater and a home heat pump water heater. And I'm soon to be getting the highly efficient Aptera Roadster. And oh, by the way, there's a link down below if you would like to order your Aptera Roadster and receive 30% off your reservation. So that's it, my friends. This is my review of the 2017 Chevy Bolt EV, how it has impacted my life, how I've enjoyed the vehicle, how it has reduced my CO2 footprint. I've shared with you how I'm reducing my CO2 footprint footprint at home by eliminating methane, natural gas. And I also shared with you how I'm getting my next highly efficient car, the Aptera Roadster. So I want to thank you for sharing some time with me today. And my wish for you is to be well, be healthy, and charge on.